Hello everybody, welcome to a new weapon of the week. This week's weapon of the week is all about the launcher. And you're looking at this launcher right now and you're kind of going like, huh, this doesn't look like all that special. It doesn't have any fancy hacksaw barrel business going on. It just has some, some regular tube action there. It's not no particular awesome uh, propulsion. Everything's kind of normal. But then you take a look at the left side of your screen and then you see the trigger. It's a full auto trigger and then you're going like, that must be a mistake. He can't be serious right now. He must, he must have accidentally clicked that. Because this is a single barrel launcher. See? It's, it only has one rocket in the magazine. So there is basically no point in using full auto. Well guys, I'd like to introduce you to a little game called Loadout where making sense is not a hard requirement it's simply an option yes because full auto on a single shot weapon like this rocket here does offer some benefits if you look at the stats here you can see that uh, well, full auto has a slight damage loss compared to semi-auto but the rate of fire is higher and well that doesn't really matter right it's that makes sense. Full auto should have a higher rate of fire than semi-auto, but it also means, because of this is a single shot weapon, that the reload time is lower. That is a thingy they introduced. You know, the, the, the rate of fire of a single shot weapon affects the reload time of that weapon. That's a thing they introduced a few months, ba months back, and... I really like it because that create you can kind of do a trade-off between damage and reload time on the single shot weapons as well and that means even though single shot weapons have relatively little customization available they now have more customization available because of that that, that little reload time What does the rest of the la this launcher look like? Well, we got the... As I said, it was it's pretty standard. It's like rocket propulsion, impact, contact, explosive, and we got tube, because what tube does, as you, as you can see, it's a mid-weight barrel for launcher that is easier to reload, but has a reduced blast radius. Basically, it means you get less blast radius, but faster reload time. Now, heavy is the exact opposite. It does has a... Uh, longer reload time, but a uh, bigger blast radius, and cage is kind of the in-betweener of that. Now, uh, since we have the full auto on there to get a uh, faster reload time, we may as well take the, tu the tube as well for an even faster reload time, because that kind of stacks, that stacks really well. Uh, and then we're getting to the, the actual point of this weapon, and that is the laser guidance scope, because, well, I, I like the laser guns part. Uh, it's kind of unique to loadout. I think that is because it's so hard to balance. But uh, in loadout, it does come with a bunch of downsides. Like, uh, yeah, get the damage penalty. As you can see here, it's like 10 damage less than if you would take iron sights. And uh, while you are uh, guiding your rocket, you're not able to uh, to reload it during that during that you're scoping it so yeah during that time uh, and that's kind of the reason why we want this fast reloading uh, rocket launch to, to kind of make up for that loss in the you know in the laser gun scope time and this rocket launcher guys it's a very challenging rocket launcher too and that's something I know quite a lot of people are looking for a challenging rocket launch because Rocket launchers in loadout are fun as hell to use, but and I totally get that feel. It, it kind of feels sometimes a little too easy to do well with a rocket launcher. It doesn't really involve. You, know, you kind of aim at the ground in front of an enemy, and it does major damage. And that's why we take all these parts because these parts create for a very little blast radius. Because the blast radius kind of scales uh, depending on the damage of the gun uh, on rockets. And we take tubed, uh, we take the tube barrel, so uh, the 
So the blast radius is even less and we take uh, the standard parts, kind of like impact and uh, contact, because manual and proximity are really easy, <laughs> easy mode kind of th kind of deals. Which is, which, I mean, they're pretty cool parts. But, you know, we're going here, here, we're going for the, for the challenging rocket here, not for the, not challenging rocket. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we take the contact part, and as you can see here, whoops, as you can see here in the damage stat, it says. It's around 44 to 45 damage, and that's from the rocket alone. But what rockets do? They uh, have direct hit damage, as you can see there. Direct hit damage is around five to six, and that means if I hit my enemy twice, I will be able to kill him in two shots, and I still have that 1.6 second reload time. And because we have the laser guidance. It is easier for us to actually get direct hits. Now, that's that's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. And it's also challenging because despite the laser guns, it's still it's still very challenging to get direct hits in uh, at uh, you know moving enemies like mid game where you kind of you know you're jumping and rolling around and trying to get the direct hit on somebody, but. You know, you can't. You, you really can't do that very consistently, unless you're some kind of crazy skilled person, or you've practiced a lot with this weapon. And well, you've seen by now, it doesn't always two shot this weapon. I'm pretty sure that if I get uh, like laser guns tier three and slug tier three, and maybe uh, I, don't know, I think contact tier three. I don't know. Full auto tier 3. Point is, if you get some tier 3 parts, it will make this weapon from a 2 shot to a. Uh, from a 3 shot to a 2 shot. But in practice, it doesn't matter that much. Like, there are. Mainly with the current uh, shield uh, population. <laughs> the current shield population that is very, very popular equipment piece. You're not going to get a lot of two shots. Nevertheless, this is a very—it's a very good launcher because you can still reliably get hits with it. And as I said, I like laser guns. It's a really fun part, and this is probably the best way to to get like to get like the most out of your laser guns part because you you really have to use the laser guns to get direct hits to get the most out of your reward. See. That, that, that's that's you're challenging yourself there, and I think that's a good thing because after a while, Lord can get kind of a drag. You know, you, you got you figured out a nice weapon combination, and maybe you want to hop on to something different. Well, guys, this is something different. This is definitely not the most skill requiring weapon for sure because it's still a rocket. What you can also do, and which I do many times during this video, is like. Uh, aim at an enemy and as your rocket approaches your enemy you quickly do a nudge like downward so your uh, rocket kind of crashes into the ground in front of the enemy but that's also really fun to do with laser guns <laughs> because you're you, you know your enemy is all like ah oh, you missed you sucker <laughs> I'm, I'm very good at dodging and you're like nope you just guide that uh, rocket into his uh, feet or ground. You know, he takes damage. That's the point. It's all about him taking damage. What I like about this weapon is how all the puzzle pieces fit together. Kind of, you g you got the laser guns, and it has reload disadvantages. So you take full auto and tube, and because of the full auto damage penalty combined with the laser guns damage penalty. You can only you're only able to two hit people if you get direct hits consistently, and with laser guns, it allows you to get direct hits consistently. Now, is it a useful weapon? Because I know that that's a lot. Lo that's something a lot of people will wonder. Well, is it actually useful? And the answer is probably no, not really, because it's laser guns in this case is kind of a glorified manual part where manual just offers way less of a penalty and manual detonate I'm talking about the man manual detonation uh, thing here like the manual detonator and what it comes down to is you will still unless you're like really high skilled and really practiced with this weapon you will 
it's more likely that you will hit consistently with the manual detonation part than the laser guidance, but that doesn't matter. What laser guidance does offer over manual though is that it has, uh, you can kind of get some long range shots, but it's not, it's not really worth it, so to say, because rockets are not a long range weapon in general, especially since they can be shot down with a weapon. Mainly beams. Beams are great for shooting down rockets. Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this weapon. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Rocket!